I was just going to do a quick video here on a program that I use to uh, price items for my eBay store. Um, it's called Terapeak. It's probably a lot of people that have, have heard of Terapeak and uh, use it. Um, it's uh, kind of pricey, so if, you, if you're going to buy it, you got to probably should be selling pretty large amounts of volume. Um, it's like 30 bucks a month. I think if you buy a year, it's 200 a year, so kind of pricey, but um, if, if you could get together with a group of people and just share the subscription, that'd probably be the best way to do it. But uh, I'm just going to go through it real quick. I'll do a couple examples of how I use it. This just gives you a basic snapshot of the market on eBay. You can use it for uh, Amazon as well. But I haven't gone in depth on it very much. I just kind of go with the uh, basic version. I just type into this search box, like the, the card I'm looking to get a price on. And then right here on the right is the uh, data range. I like the surface because you can uh, zoom in, in and out the screen like that. It's pretty cool. But so 1230 of last year to 329, 2015. And the card we're going to take a look at here um, is a SPX Dante Moncrief Auto to 425. So let's just see kind of where this card is uh, market-wise. Trying to type around the... Uh, I'm filming with the iPad, so this could be challenging. You don't have to put the 2014 in because... Dante Marker is a rookie, so he's only got 2014 SPX cards. And when you're doing the search boxes, don't get too in-depth with it. Like, don't put in the, the 425 and all this different stuff. Just keep it basic. or it's, it, it only returns exact uh, results. So you, so you want to grab as, as many results as you can. And then the way I sort it is from highest to lowest. So let's, let's zoom this in a little bit. So... I actually want it over just a little bit. I want the scrolling bar. So the highest priced one sold for 90 and the buy it now was 169 So we, we kind of know the uh, Spectrum one to 50 went for, for 51 on March 19th. So we're kind of getting a basic idea. So here's the, the card that we have. This is the one out of 425 red and went for 1295 on 218 So that was about a month ago. Um, on 328 it went for 1295 Actually, on the 18th, it went for $14.99, and it went for 11 on 328 So right now, you kind of know that this card is worth in between 11 to 15 plus shipping. So th the way I would do it, th the way I do my store is I just put my stuff pretty much at the top of the market and wait for somebody to hit the buy it now. I just feel like auctions, you don't ever get what you're looking for because you're, you're dependent on two, pe two people seeing the card, one, and both people wanting it, and bid it up to, to that to the market value so that's why a lot of people have gone to the buy it now on ebay i know a lot of people don't like ebay but to me it's the only way to, it's a way to get a bunch of people seeing my cards that i wouldn't there's really uh, no other way to get that that many people looking at your card so um if i was going to do this item i'd probably price it at 14.50 buy it now with, with shipping so and then just wait for somebody to hit the buy it now um there's no guarantee that somebody would, would hit the buy it now the uh, 30 day listing that I select. I, I like to do 30 day listings for cards I don't have more than like 5 or 10 of. Now if I have like 10 or more of a card I'll do the uh, good toe cancel because it's just nice to have those in the, in the system. So here's another example. This is a product that just came out last week. I, I'm just going to do two cards. I think you guys can get a a feel for it just with two cards. Um, it's a Nick Foles Museum. I can't type around this iPad. Auto 2014. Now this this product came out like two or three weeks ago, so we don't need to select the whole data range. You can just knock it down to 30 days and then search, and it'll bring up all the results for this. Terrible lighting, guys. Sorry, but it's a uh, Nick Foles. It's got like two uh, two two patches. That's out of 25. <clears throat> so right now we kind of see what what we're doing with so. Top of the top of the market has one for the went for twenty fifty on three twenty six. Let's zoom. Twenty fifty on three twenty six. And then there's one right underneath it that went for seventeen fifty on the eighteenth. And then the, all all the other ones are uh, lower valued cards. So to me, ours is out of twenty five should be worth uh, more than the fifty, obviously. So I would probably price this at buy it now thirty or something. Or like a best offer thirty five or something. But that's just kind of how I use Terapeak. Um, a lot of people don't think it's that useful, but I think it really can help you with your uh, store or selling stuff. Just find out the uh, market values. Another cheaper option you can use is just go to uh, eBay and then on the left tab hit uh, Sold Listings. 
you can see what cards sold for within the past two weeks or so. Um, I, I like Terra Peaks. It gives you a wide data range. You can really go in depth on what you're trying to sell. So I just want to do a quick tutorial on Terra Peak. Um, um, it'd be nice if, if we could all get together and uh, share a subscription to Terra Peak. We probably end up only paying like three bucks or five bucks a month, which would be a lot better than the, the thirty I pay right now. So uh, let me know what you guys think on Terra Peak, and thanks.